Actually, the story with that one, she wore an Eastern Bloc swimsuit. Is it my friend, my friend Georgie was horrified because this new guy she was dating was going to pick her up and take her down to Bondi Beach for a swim. She's like, I'm not ready, you know. And I said, just say it's an Eastern Bloc swimsuit. But weirdly, because it's innate, the desire to draw, I started drawing my colleagues, like my friend Virginia. She did a wee, that's right. It's one of my early ones. Um, like, you know, it's just, I draw whatever was happening, you know, and I started to draw it with my opposite hand just because it looked silly or it looked childlike. Why I'm sort of obsessed with that idea of the uncensored self, because um, I grew up in a very, very, very strict Catholic family and my parents did not allow us to any space for bad behaviour at all. But on the other hand, they're incredibly open about us with our creativity. They just, my dad was almost a nut on originality. He didn't want me being like the next person. You know, it was always about expressing yourself with freedom. So I quit drawing again in my life and started writing and dressing as a guy. His name was Dominic Navarro. My friends were horrified. They're like, what has happened? I wanted to walk in the shoes of all the men I'd gone out with. I go, what is it like? What's it like to be adored to this level? So I cultivated this character and I, something horrifying sort of started happening. I started, women started behaving differently. I go out in public. I wasn't just, I go drop my kids off at school as Dominic. <laughs> and I raised funds for Movember dressed as Dominic. I said, if I, if I can dress as Dominic for a month, um, I'm going to put it towards men's mental health. Right? My whole thing is creativity is a living thing. It's not like, you know, I don't want to keep redoing what I've done. It, I mean, can't be worried about, am I going to lose people that like what I did there if I do this? You can't live like that. I mean, you can, but I would say creatively it is a death sentence, you know? Like, I, I think you have to constantly be exploring your own boundaries within yourself if you really want to create uh, authentic work. And I remember just there was this one moment where I was packing the dishwasher and I had this fantasy, wouldn't it be great just to disappear in the dishwasher? Like, <laughs> and I wrote this story. I just started drawing this character called Agatha who is a mother of two who finds a portal through the dishwasher to this child magical <laughs> self, right? So I started writing about this divided part, the part that wants to be really present and the next one, the part that wants to run free. I want my kids' childhood to be magical. I want, you know, they are so extraordinary. They give me so much um, joy. It's that double-edged sword. Wow, you've ruined my life, but you're so amazing. Yeah.